it was just fun to make my own shit. You know, like the first thing I ever made were business cards. And the power of that, no one knows I used a Barrow Prismacolor and the toner. You'd touch it and it would kind of bleed out into the shape because I couldn't afford to have it printed. Or just make it one color and I would cut the paper out and then paste that to chipboard and I'd make these elaborate kits. They were hobbies. They weren't... Now, it wasn't something that was like with a knife to my throat, like, oh, you better do this, you won't get a job. No. But the fun part is when I would give that to a friend or someone or a client, it looked bigger than what I ever was. And that's the power of graphic design or just presentation. So the next things were like stickers. And I didn't even know that... I didn't even know that like you could have them cut them out for you. I just hired the guy to print this big sheet. And I would go home with a ruler and... And the next time I picked them up, he was like, how are you cutting them? I said, I cut them with a ruler. He said, you know, I can trim that for you for no price. And I just didn't even know. I didn't know there was a trimmer. You know, you know what I mean? And that beca because I asked him what I needed. Can you help me take a big piece of vinyl, hit it with yellow, and then hit it with black and become a two-color sticker, you know? And it created a monster for my, and me because it was just like buttons, things, and none of that to sell. Just to give away to your buddies, have them see it on their snowboard or their skateboard. What's Draplin Design Company? Yeah, it's this guy who's delusional, working out of his basement or his back, whatever, you know, his backyard studio, you know. And it just plays on itself. You know, I have a lot of questions for you guys, you know. Could you guys get me a good price on coin purses? That's a joke, that's a joke. <laughs> but I'm like at 220 items. That's so cool. So every month, it's another 10 grand of posters or things or, you know, or chip clips or whatever the hell, just to keep the monster going. And I'm so proud of it because it's all fun shit. And, and really, it all came from a place of like, it was just either fun to make or I actually liked the pencil I was using. I went and found a little bit better pencil, put my own little shit on it. And that experience was more fun for my client or just a friend I gave it to. And now we sell a lot of shit, you know? But we keep the prices real chill. In fact, we're so bad or dumb with it. When you buy a dollar pencil, we like pay you a buck 40 to take it. Because <laughs> it's 240 to ship the fucking thing. It's a, I have to pay a quarter. The, the envelope is 70, you know, it's just embarrassing. My girlfriend will say, you're paying these guys two bucks to have this Sharpie. So what, you know, it's just fun, so. When someone buys 200 bucks of this shit, it makes up for it times 50, you know? So that kind of, you know, kids will point out to me, do you know you're losing money on this? It never dawned on me. Craziest piece of merch I've ever made. Well, I mean, the beanies and stuff, people wear the hell out of those. The hats, I wear them every day. Um, sweatpants were pretty bad. I wore the shit out of them. But trying to sell that to people, they just look at you like you're nuts. You know, like, why do I want $35 sweatpants when I can buy them for eight bucks at, you know, Target or whatever the hell you guys have here? I don't know, you know. Uh, something. I'm trying to make up a, I'm, a, I'm so tired of the jet lag. I'm trying to make up a funny English place to go shopping. You know, the king and I or something. I don't know what you got here. I don't care. I'll stop. The bullet pencils from the 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s, they just don't make them anymore. The chassis is long gone. And we've looked into like what it would take to pad print, build the piece. I see the gears turning in your head. Stamp out the little bullet piece, you know, that goes on the pencil. Just get a pencil nub, you know, and put it in there. Because it's embarrassing to me that, like, you know, if you are a farmer on a farm and you want field notes or you just want a notepad and a little tiny pencil in your pocket, if you look around, we all have stuff in our pockets. We always have these things on ourselves, you know? And it's like, I, I'm sad that you can't make that because the currency of it was so cool to me that someone can make a 500 of them and give them out to everyone who comes to their insurance place or their feed and seed or, or their hardware store. It was this really functional item. So, you know, I love when people come to me and they say, toothbrush? The fuck am I gonna use a toothbrush? They say, you, you brush your teeth with it, you asshole. What do you think? But it's black bristles on an orange brush. Oh, the Halloween edition. It's so awesome. And it's like, that's my favorite thing. Like, little kids come up and they go, oh, a toothbrush with black bristles. They get it. But it's the parents, these cynical fucks, you know, we're like, two months later, 
I get an email saying, you know what? I was on a road trip, forgot my toothbrush. There was that toothbrush you gave me, thanks. I'm like, well, no shit. 